Welcome everybody to today's video session. My name is still Thomas and I'm still one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Our online video sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key competencies for your IELTS exam. In this case, speaking. Are you a Luddite? A technophile? Regrettably, even if you are, you still need to know how to talk about tech especially if you're someone who's going to take the IELTS speaking test soon. Are you curious about what you will be asked in the test? How will you be able to deal with the answer if you don't have any ideas about the topic? Don't worry, if you stay till the end of this video, I'll provide you with a few sample answers and some powerful expressions that you can use for this topic. And I guarantee that after this video, talking about technology will no longer stymie you. Here are some sample answers for part one. Do you use any gadgets on a daily basis? Yes, absolutely. Honestly, I'm not a geek, but I'm extremely passionate about technological products such as smartphones and laptops. In a nutshell, we're living in a computer age and there's no reason to overlook cutting edge technology. How often do you use the internet? The internet is an indispensable part of my daily grind. It's really beneficial for my studies and helps me to relax. Surfing the internet is my hobby during my downtime. Frequently, I browse websites to buy something or to communicate with people. I often video conference with other students from my school. Do you own a computer? If so, how often do you use it and for what purposes? Yeah, I have a personal laptop, which is very light and fits in my bag to take to work. Mainly I use it for studying and working, especially since the COVID-19 outbreak. I use it most frequently for word processing, browsing websites and online meetings. It runs really well for an old laptop. It's still a pretty well-oiled machine. Now let's have a look at some part two example questions. Now, have a look at the card and prepare a monologue. Describe your favourite gadget. You should say what it is, when did you get it, how often do you use it, and say why it's so important to you. I've got quite a few gadgets at home, some of which were bought for me and others which I bought myself. My desktop computer was given to me by my parents when I was a high school student in order for me to be able to study more conveniently. The most important piece of technology I bought, however, was my laptop. I bought it with my first month's salary I received after graduation. It's integral to my life because I use it for work and entertainment, as well as keeping in contact with other people. At first, computers were very confusing for me, rocket science. So I had to browse websites to teach myself how to reinstall operating systems. I can't live without my laptop because it enables me to work remotely and conveniently. All in all, it's an essential device for me. Finally, let's look at a couple of examples for part three. Do you think we need to understand computers on a deeper level? I believe that understanding how to use a computer is essential for people in the computer age. The first and most fundamental thing to know is how to enter a web address and navigate websites. This will enable you to surf the internet and to find information, which in turn will help you to research the areas that you want to know about in more detail. And this may very well include teaching yourself computer mechanics or software coding, if computing is an area that you are interested in. What is the most impactful piece of technology in our time? I think that the internet has been the most important technological advancement of our times but maybe I'm biased because I work in digital marketing. The net gives us access to people all over the developed world and a variety of opportunities to discover new information and concepts. It has enabled the democratization of information like nothing that has ever come before. And I feel that it's also undeniably had several serious drawbacks too. How do computers affect our everyday life? On the whole, I would say positively. Computers benefit us significantly in terms of apps for education as well as work, also providing a large number of other tools, from researching and writing an essay, to conducting more complex tasks like developing advanced programs, digital editing and so forth. 
Our lives without computers would be more inefficient and disadvantageous than now. Indeed, I don't think as a society that we will ever be able to move back. I really hope that you found this session useful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. Our IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide you with personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest uploads. See you for the next session. Goodbye.